Jesus comes into the upper room and surprises the apostles who have withdrawn into this room, fearful for their lives after Jesus was crucified. His first words, Peace be with you. And then he repeats it, Peace be with you. And he tells them he will send them to continue his mission. But they will not be alone. And he breathes the Holy Spirit into them. And he tells them that whoever they forgive shall be forgiven. Among many mission assignments, why did Jesus choose forgiveness as the first order of their mission? It is because peace can only be achieved through forgiveness. If at all, our mission is to be at peace with everyone. Be they your spouse who betrayed you, or an aging father who abused you, or a co-worker who unfairly judged you, or a sibling who bullied you, or a friend who has hurt you and now your friendship is wasting. Forgiveness is what will bring about peace. Unforgiveness robs one of the peace that Jesus is asking us to spread to the world. Perhaps for years, you have been filled with anger and you are now plotting revenge. But now, because you have asked the Holy Spirit to breathe into you, you are unsure if all that hostility, loneliness, and internal suffering you have is worth it. Perhaps you now have a clearer idea that it is not only the other person who is wrong, but you are also wrong. According to Harold Sela, author, speaker, and Bible teacher, if your goal is peace, then you must heed these guidelines. Number one, the way that leads to peace is marked by the commitment of two parties who want peace. Certainly, you cannot make peace with someone who refuses to come to the table and talk. That's why Paul wrote, if possible, on your part, live at peace with all. Number two, the way that leads to peace is marked by the willingness of two individuals to give up their anger and negotiate. Harold says, Frankly, there are some who enjoy being angry. It gives them reason to justify their baseness and rottenness. Besides, they find it much easier to sling mud or stones or bullets than to admit that they too might have been wrong. The benefits of peace far outweigh the satisfaction of being right. Number three, the way that leads to peace is marked by the refusal to continue the battle. It is difficult to have a war when nobody wants to fight. This is a true story that happened during World War I, where both the Germans and British soldiers were fiercely fighting somewhere in Belgium and it was December of 2014.
Number four, the path to peace is marked by goodwill. Things may be shaky at the start, but if there is the intent to have peace, peace will be achieved. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, grant me the grace of peace so that I may achieve it. And may the Holy Spirit accompany me and whoever I am not at peace with to the table of peace so that your mission for me, like that of the apostles, may be fulfilled. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.